Okay, my friends, I'm back again. And this is part three of uh, dried flowers. Now I was thinking that some of you might not have the area that you could buy some designer paper and you, you can't afford it or you can't get to a place that doesn't have it, anything. So I'm gonna show you what you can, let's play together and see something different. Here I've got a card, like a piece of paper for a card. And here I've torn out a page from um, a book. So I'm just going to rip it. It's a book that I got from a thrift store. And let's get our distress ink. Now again, if you don't have distress ink, you can always coffee dye your paper. I've done that with photo paper, doilies, coffee filters, cheese cloth. Okay, so I'm just gonna distress this to make it look old. Just makes it look more Now, this page is pretty white, so let's just distress the corners a little bit. Now again, what I used is I got from a thrift store a box of old wedding invitations. A stack of them came with envelopes and um, paper and where you write your wedding invitation, this page. I took it and folded it. Okay, so there we go. Let's try this. Let's see what this is going to look like. You know what? There's no rhyme or reason to any of this. Let's just have fun. Be creative and think outside the box. Okay, so there. I've done that. Now, here, I've coffee dyed some um, doilies. Just your coffee, you don't. Let's try. Mm -hmm. I think. Let's just try gluing it down. See what it looks like. Use anything you've got. Okay, glue that down. What else have I got here? I've got some lace. Let's try that. Let's go all the way down. If it overlaps, just trim it off. You don't have to measure. Okay. Right. So let's see. This is remember between acetate paper or um, wrap. And what I've done is uh, this is a red phlox. I put a bit of a lace, a tiny bit of cheesecloth. And I'm going to slide it over like that. I did the zigzag, but if you don't have a machine, just put a bit of glue on each corner, just lightly. Now I'm going to glue this on just around the edge. Ok, 
Okay, put that on there. I'm gonna slide it under that lace just a little bit there. Okay, now along here, we need something there. You can just play of what you like, or maybe I'll do another bit of lace, or let's just distress a little bit more. Now, this flower has um, some pink in it, so let's get some cranberry ink. Let's add a bit of red pink there. Oh, that's good. That's looking pretty good, I think, but we need something else there. Now, from the thrift store again, I bought some lace. Let's try this. And I just cut it up. Maybe a bit of tulle under there. What do you think? Sometimes you can use, I use glossy accents for a lot of things that need extra sticking or textile fabric um, glue. Let's, there. Now, if you don't have any gems, I'm sure you've got a button box some more. Let's see. Oh. This is where glossy accents sticks it a little bit better. Well, once again, let's put a word. Let's uh, distress that a bit. See, now that's getting lost there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 
a little bit of a red cardboard behind there that would make that pop out a little bit more. And again, I can make that red a little bit darker. is pretty nice and that didn't cost me a lot and then you can put your name or write on there that these dried flowers were from your garden preserved for them you could even do that now Dried flowers from 